Hey guys, Mark here, Red Wars for Christ. Welcome back. Folks, today I just want to do a brief message to pray for my brothers and sisters right now that may have been going through a tough battle. <laughs> um, Lord, you know, folks, there has been, um, <clears throat> there's been a lot of spiritual warfare that's been out there. Um, and, um, and I know a lot of you, and I know I've been feeling it myself. Um, but see, folks, this is the thing that I want to encourage you. Once, when you are walking with God, when you're doing the will of God, when you're, you know, um, you know, to the best of your ability, that's not saying folks that were perfect. That's not saying that, you know, everything is, you know, you know, you do everything perfectly. Um, but your heart's desire is to please the Lord and go, go the way of God. You're going to have opposition, folks. The enemy is going to try to come against you. The enemy is going to try to, you know, try to um, attack whether it be coming against you know various areas to distract you, um, to demotivate you, to make you feel tired, weary, um, and all of it, folks, is just for one objective, and that's for you to disconnect from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for you to disconnect <clears throat> from walking with the Lord. He wants to try to wear you out, but I'm here to tell you, folks. That Jesus is with you. Because the Bible is very clear. He said, greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. And that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You know, folks, that's one of the things that we have to, um, you know, when we, the, the thing that God is reminding me. When the devil is attacking, we don't sit there and become doormats for the devil to keep, you know, just to keep attacking. You have to, this is why the Lord tell, you know, says to resist the devil. And how do we resist the devil? With the word of the living God. That's how we resist the devil. That's how we come against the enemy. That's how we put a stop to all the nonsense the enemy tries to do to come against us. <clears throat> the word of God exposes the lie and all the falsities and all the other things that the enemy tries to convince you. If you're in a situation the enemy tries to tell you, oh, no, you're, you know, that's not going to happen for you. The Lord doesn't care about you. If he did, then that wouldn't have been taking place. That situation that you're in right now, you wouldn't be in that situation if God loves you. You know, how long are you going to continue with this? You know, all kinds of negative speech that the enemy tries to do. And all of it is just to demotivate you and to um, have you throw in the towel. But I have a prayer for you guys. In fact, I'm going to pray this prayer on behalf of you guys. And this is a prayer that you can pray for yourself in the first person. When you pray this prayer, pray it in the first person. Okay, um, powerful prayer because the Lord is your help. Anytime, folks, that you're feeling down, you're feeling beaten down, you're feeling tired, you're feeling that you have no strength, that there's nothing that you can do, you're exhausted, right? <clears throat> you can always, you know, that's the thing that 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 um, that you can always do is to cry out to the Lord. So I urge you. To pray Psalm 121. Pray Psalm 121. When the enemy is trying to bring heat down your neck. <clears throat> this is a powerful prayer. That you can speak back to the enemy. <clears throat> Here's what it says folks. Here's what it says. And folks. The word of God. Is the word of truth. And the enemy must surrender to the truth of the word of God. He has to do it. He has to bow. To the word of truth. This is what it says. This is Psalm 121. It says this. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. Who made the heavens and the earth. He will not allow my foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is the shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from evil. Let me say that one more time. The Lord shall preserve you from, e from all evil, from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. 
the Lord shall preserve. You're going out and you're coming in from this time forth and forevermore. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. Folks, powerful, powerful prayer. Because the Lord is with you. The Lord is your help. The Lord, <clears throat> there's not a situation, circumstance, problem, issue that you're in right now that God can't get you out of. There's nothing that the enemy can do to stop <clears throat> the purpose of God for your life. So I encourage you that when you feel discouraged, to read Psalm 20, to read Psalm 121 out loud, folks. Speak it out loud to the atmosphere. Speak it into the atmosphere. Because, folks, they said the power of life and death is in the tongue. There is power when you speak the word of God, the word of truth. The enemy can hear it, and he flees. So resist the devil. Say, in the name of Jesus, I resist you, Satan. And accord to Psalm 121, and then start declaring Psalm 121. Directly at the enemy. And watch, folks. The enemy has to bow to the word of God. There's not an option. He doesn't have an option of, oh, should I bow, should I? No, he must bow to the word of living God. Because God's word is true. And everything must come in line with the word of living God. So folks, I'm going to end the message right here. If this message speaks to you, give it a like, a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. 